All right, they are going to move it up a little bit. We're about to kick off. Here is Leckler putting his foot into the uh, ball. It will be a little bit short. It'll be Lewis. Well, defensive back taking it at the three. They fake a reverse. Lewis cuts it up the field, goes to the 15-yard line, and is brought down right between the hash marks. He started the far side, cut it back to the middle of the field. Michael Jamison on the kickoff team will make the stop for Texas A&M. All right, Rote with three wideouts to the right, two to the left. No running back. And it's an inside handoff going back to the left side, right to left, across the 20 to about the 24-yard line goes Bobby Raytel. Raytel it's set up here on the right and carries out to about the 24. Brian Gamble is one of the linebackers. Here's a high snap over uh, Raytel's head. He goes back inside the 14, falls on it, and the Aggies swarm on him. Jay Brooks and Roy Lynn Bradley right there on top of him. And on a second down and about a yard, they will end up losing all the way back inside the 15 at about the 14 and a half yard line, facing third down and 11. Shotgun formation, three wide outs to the right, this time a single setback. Hash to the left, straight drop by Tim Rattay. Steps up, throws, completed. Out across the 30 to the 31 yard line on the far side of the field to Daig. Daig made the reception. Brandon Jennings will make the stop. Daig in the ball game last week against FSU, caught three passes for 32 yards. Starting at an inside linebacking position now is Brian Gamble, the freshman redshirt out of Alto, 6'2", 227. Class 2A, defensive player of the year. Is another pass to the sideline. Did he catch the it's ball? It's intercepted. Intercepted on a deflection. Intercepted by Brandon Jennings out of the hands of Dang at the 45-yard line on the far sideline. Dang was going down. The ball hit off his arms, flew up in the air, and a diving interception. By Brandon Jennings. The Aggies have the ball. First down and 10 at the Bulldog 45-yard line. Here's Dwayne Goins off his fingertips at the 50. I don't know if that was a forward pass it or not. It may have been ball. a lateral. They're going to say lateral. Hang on a second. Let's the ball is the... on the turf at the 48-yard line off the fingertips of Dwayne Goins. Do Goins made a dive for it. It went off his hands, and he was going for the football and then swarmed by Louisiana Tech. And apparently they're going to call out a lateral, and it's going to be a turnover against Texas A&M. And just like that, after the interception, it will go right back to Louisiana Tech at the 48-and-a-half yard line. That is their 48-and-a-half. First down and 10 at the 48-and-a-half. Right, three wides to the left, one here to the right, and it'll be a quarterback draw, and Rattay takes a step, and he is dropped immediately. May have lost a half yard on that back to the 48-yard line. Here we go back to the line of scrimmage on a second down and 10. 12.41 to go, first period, no score. Two wide outs to the right, three to the left, straight drop, short drop by Rattay, throws this way, ball caught at the Aggie 46-yard line, advanced to the 44-yard line. That reception made by Dig and the tackle made by Webster, and also by Harold Robertson, who to the left is the open side. Take quarterback draw, steps up, smothered by Jason Glenn. He hits the line of scrimmage and got a yard. Three, that was a second down play in about three. Now it'll be a third down coming up. They'll call it about two yards. They need past the Aggie 42-yard line. And the return man for the Aggies will be Dante Hall. He's going to stand back at the 10. The line of scrimmage will be the 42-yard line. See if he doesn't try for the... He's lined up like he's going to kick the ball here to the right side. Oh, they were trying to get a delay penalty. Dead ball. Delay game on the off -deck. And he's lined up like he wants to kick it here to the right side. Hall standing at the AM 10-yard line. Good snap. Kicks away. Good high spiral coming back this way. Let's see what it's going to do. It made it into the end zone. They'll bring it out to the... 20-yard line. That'll be a 43-yard kick by Price on his first efforts of the Knights. Hardeman will be the lead back, and Hall is right behind him. Split in right, flanker to the left side. Throw it out to the right side. Ball is caught at the 30 down the sideline. Bumped into the sideline. Will go Bethel Johnson. Johnson, it's set up to the right side as a flanker. Bobby Gray knocked him out of bounds. He carries for an Aggie first down to the 38-yard line. For De La Torre's to tie it in. Cole's over on the far side as the split in. Now it's Taylor as the flanker. Eye formation. Callan drops back, wants to throw. Now forced out of the pocket at the 40-45. It's midfield down the sideline. Knocked into the Aggie bench at the, where's the official spot? Going to be at the 38-yard line. A 38-yard line carry into Tech territory. 
by Randy McCowan. That's good for 24 yards. High formation and two tight ends with a flanker here to the left side. First down and 10 at the Tech 15 yard line. 10 21 on the clock. First quarter, no score. Handed off to Hardeman. Good hole. Tries the middle. Right behind the center, Seth McKinney, and carries across the 35 to the 33-yard line. Five-yard pickup. Second and five will be coming. Desmond Nunnery made the stop. As two flankers here on the left side. Ball favors the right hash mark. Split in Baumgartner. Shallow drop, throw it to Baumgartner. Juggles the ball, then drops the ball. It's incomplete. Incomplete pass that he never had control of. It would have been about the area for a first down. Nine of uh, for nine receptions, 173 yards last year. Break the eye, put a hole in motion. Running back to the left side, a roll to the left side. McCowan, Cox, now he throws, and he throws high and incomplete down around the 12-yard line. Kinchins now will attempt a 50-yarder. It's on its way, sidewinder. It is good. It's good. He got it through. How about that? The Aggies now going back to last year and hit 11 consecutive field goals. That just did clear. From 50 yards out from the hash mark to the right side, the Aggies have a 3 nothing lead with 9.29 to go here in the first quarter leading Louisiana Tech. He looked like a uh, veteran on that kick. Here is Leckler kicking off, and this one will sail through and into the end zone. It'll be down back there by Louisiana Tech. Christian Rodriguez and Sean Coriotter in the lineup right now for the Aggies. Inside handoff to Bobby Raydell. They run first and 10 from their 20 gets to the 20. Started out to the left side, got outside the hash mark, and they brought him down to the 23. Tackle made by Corey Otten. Also, Cornelius Anthony had a great season. However, not a good start against FSU. Seven carries, 19 yards. Here's second down and seven out in the flats. Throw the ball. It'll be caught by Simon being chased near the line of scrimmage as he's bringing it back this way. Drop down at the 24-yard pickup. Shotgun formation. Running back to the right of Rute. Drops back. Throws. That will be caught. Up, yep, complete. Complete. They're saying he picked it up off the turf. The intended receiver was Degg. Webster was there. Looked like he made a shoestring catch off the grass, and the official came running over and immediately said, no go, and now it's punt time. Last punt by Price was good for 43. Line of scrimmage here is the 24. Kicks away. It's coming over here toward Dante. And he will make the catch at the 35. Starts his return far side right, wrapped up. Got about three on the return. Make it four to the 39-yard line. So after the it was a 41-yard punt, and the tackle made by Brian Bradford. A&M now out of the field, and here is McCowan taking the snap. He'll run the option. He'll keep the ball across the line of scrimmage, the 40-yard line out to about the 44-yard line. Brought down there by Damon Harrington out of Elkton, Maryland. It's high formation. Texas A&M with Hardeman and Hall right behind him. McKinney out over the ball. McCowan puts Hall in motion. Coming back to the open side to the left. Hand off. Try the left side. It's Hardeman across the 45 to the 46 and a half yard line. Hardeman 5'10", 232. It's a third down and about three. Snap it. Going to try a sweep to the right. It's Hall cuts it back to his left. Spins across the line of scrimmage into Tech territory at the 48-yard line. First down A&M. It's first down and 10. A&M operates again in Tech territory at the 46 and a half yard line. Tight end is up here on the left side. That's Della Torre. Bethel Johnson's a split in right. They're going to throw on the flats this way. It'll go to Leroy Hodge. Will make the catch across the 40 to the 39. Caught the ball at the line of scrimmage and then immediately turned it downfield where Michael John Leonard made the stop at the Tech 39-yard line. Tango McCauley's now on the offensive line. Dwayne Goins flanker to the right. There was movement. We snapped the ball. One of the defensive linemen jumped off. McKinney immediately snaps it to McCowan. He falls on the ball across the line of scrimmage. Flags will go down. And let's see if they caught somebody in the neutral zone. There he is. Our referee again. This is Conference USA. Offsides. The Aggies caught him. Going to get a first down. Aggies caught him in the neutral zone. Ash left. Eye formation behind McCowan. Split in here on the left side. Flanker wide to the right. And that will be Goins. Out of the eye. Play action. Drop back. Throw the ball over the middle. Deflected up in the air off the hands of Goins. He had defensive pressure from Fred Lewis. It goes incomplete. Down around the five. Ash to the left side. Second down and ten. The ball's at the 34. High formation. Flanker to the right. There's a tight end on that side of the formation. 
Snap the ball, hand it off to Hall, started inside, cuts it back to his right, now back to his left, tries to spin away from a man at the 31-yard line, but brought down at the 31 by Brian Bradford out of Bedelia, Louisiana. He's got two carries for 29 yards, and his closest competition is three carries for 14 yards for Dante Hall. Toombs and Hardeman in a shotgun either side of McCowan. You got the speed here. You got Taylor, you have Cole, you have Johnson in as the receivers. Saying a high snap, and McCowan will be forced to run with the ball, gets back only to the 34-yard line. It was third down and about six or seven. Angle back to the left. So Kitchens, junior squatsman from Lumberton, snapped on the ground. Here is the kick. It's away, and it looks like, oh, it hit the upright. Did it go through? It went through. Hit the upright right side and fell through, and the official almost walked away from it. Well, he had to, he had to wait. It bounced up in the air, and they had to see if the ball was going to come back through the upright so Kitchens has kicked a 50 yarder and now a 51 yarder here in the first quarter this one coming at the 355 mark of the first quarter the Aggies will take a six to nothing lead Davis now is out on the field at a cornerback position for AM. Loaded up here on the right side. Inside handoff. It goes to Tell. He goes across the 25, fighting his way over the left side of the offensive line into the right side of the defense and will carry out to the 27 yard line. Just as promised, Louisiana Tech going to the run against this defense that the Aggies are employing. I think they've only got one defensive lineman in the game. And off again to Tell, tries the middle straight up the field and will pick up close for a first down. He'll be out around the 32-yard line. So Bobby Ray Tell, 19 total yards on seven carries. Evan Peroni in the defensive front now for Texas A&M. First and 10, 2.51 on the clock. First quarter, Aggies lead 6-0. Out of the shotgun, pump once to the left side, throw back to the right side. Day breaks the tackle at the 35, carries a man on his back. Out across the 40 to about the 42-and-a-half yard line. Jason Glenn on his back from the 40 for the spot of the tackle at the 42-and-a-half. First down, looks like, for Louisiana Tech. It is a fine execution of the double screen through the right, executed it to the left, picked up a first down. The Aggies have only one defensive lineman in the game. That is per and the rest of them are linebackers and defensive back. That just shows the great respect the Aggies have for this passing attack. Move Ron Edwards back in. Here's the handoff. Uh, Ray Tell once more tripped up as he cuts it outside to his left. That'll be Jennings who got around uh, his ankle. Spilled him as he falls forward to the 49. He tried to bust that one outside left. Shotgun. Tell will line up. Now he's moving Tell here to the right side. He was on his left side. Shotgun for Rete. Takes the snap. Drops back to the 40. Steps up to the 39. Partial deflection. Throws here on the sideline. Caught by Cangelosi at the Aggie 48 yard line. Steps into the sideline. Chased by Michael Jamison. It'll be about a yard shy of the first down. They may have to bring the chains in. Gamble is back in at that inside linebacking position along with Sean Coriat. Put a man in motion. They had movement on the right side. Oh, that's so, that, that is such a big mistake. Third and less than one, and you've got movement. Now you're third and six. Much different situation. They had a tight end here on the right side who leaned forward, and that was Major Richmond out of Slidell, Louisiana. Lost his balance and fell forward. They'll move him back by five yards. And as a single running back, Tell to his right does retain. Out of the shotgun, drops back to the 40. Steps up, throws the ball, caught for a first down inside the 45, down around the 41-yard line. David Newman, the tight end, who had a reception last week against Florida State, makes the catch there. Cornelius Anthony made the stop. A lot of time for Rete that time to sit back in the pocket. The Aggies going with a three-man rush, just couldn't get there. Had plenty of time to locate his tight end across the middle and find him for the first down. First down and 10. Rete steps up, calls an auto. Snap back at the 45. Inside handoff again to Bobby Raytel across the 40. Wanted to go outside right, cut it back up the middle. Got about three to the Aggie 38-yard line. Sean Coriat made the stop for Texas A&M. Three wide outs to the left side. Running back is Raytel to the right of Rete. Split in on the right, short side of the field. Drop back again. Little flat pass. That's that little screen that's set up here to the right. Nice catch across the 25. Down near the 20 will go Delwyn Degg. Jason Glenn made the stop. Rattay will move under center. 
with a single running back. Snap it, hand it off to Bobby Raytel. Gets a half yard, maybe the 20 yard line. That was a first and 10. First and 10, it will be second down and still about 10 to go. Three wide outs to the right side of the ball. Ash left, Tay takes the snap out of the shotgun, throws over the middle, caught at the 15, breaks the tackle, stringing it out far right side, and then dropping back to the 16 yard line will be John Simon. Here's a third down play. And about seven from the Aggie 16 and a half. Drop back to the 25. Rete hit as he throws the ball. Caught at the 10-yard line. It'll be close. Here on the left side near the sideline. Ball caught by Daig again. And here is Rete taking the snap. Dropping back to the 17th. Throwing the ball. And uh, was that ball caught, I believe, but only for about a yard gained inside the nine at about the eight and a half. Jay Brooks, good coverage. Open side to the left, and they have trips on that side. He'll throw a screen right at the five. Ball caught inside the five down to the three-yard line. Third and goal at about the one and a half. Ash right, put a man in motion. Big fullback. Hand off, Bobby Raytel stringing it out. Caught behind the line back at the five as they tried to sweep right. Didn't work. Jason Glenn crashed through, made the tackle. And from the 12-yard line, hash right, he will drill that one through the upright. So they settle for a field goal. Their placement man was Kevin Pond in that game, so Stores from 22 out makes it a 6-3 game day. Pretty impressive drive for Louisiana Tech to get the uh, three points. Started at their own 21 following a kickoff. 15 plays, 77 yards, 18 of that coming on a completion to Daig from Rate. Drive stalls at the two, at the five yard line. A 22 yard field goal by Stores makes it six to three. Here's the uh, kickoff. It will be short. Be taken by one of the up backs, and a fair catch was called for at the 26 yard line. Well, Derek Broughton will make the fair catch, and now Toombs will be in at the fullback or the B back position. McKinney out over the ball. Ball at the 27, and there is a uh, whistle. We have a delay of game apparently. Late getting off the sideline. <laughs> First down and 15. The ball moved back to the 22-yard line. I formation, slot to the left, tight end Brown near on the right. Play action. Here is McCowan throwing deep over the middle. Ball will be caught by Bethel Johnson across the 40, inside the 35, and down to the 31. Big play. Bethel Johnson, he isolated one-on-one -on -one with Fred Lewis. Reached up, brought it in. Lewis trying to knock it away about 47 yards to Johnson. Nice play and a great catch by Johnson. But Lewis had him well covered, and he really couldn't break away from him. I formation, two tight ends, flanker left, hash right. At the 33, deep pitch, sweep to the right. Back to Hall, crosses the 30. They run him into the sideline, the tech bench on this sideline. Out of bounds at the 27-yard line by Hall. Toom stays in at the fullback. The Aggies again will go with Browden and De La Torre. As the two tight ends and a flanker way out to the left side. Inside handoff goes to Jamar, bottled up when he hits the line of scrimmage. At the 27, and that's it. So here we go. Need to hustle. Facing third down and still five. Snap it just ahead of the 25-second clock going double zero. Rolling to the left side, throw the ball, and it's a reception and out of bounds at the 19-yard line. First down and 10 a and and again they'll have an eye formation. No change at the uh, running back with Toombs and Hall. Two tight ends and the flanker here on the right side is Taylor. Pitch, sweep to the left, nice cut inside. Hall breaks the tackle, 5-4-3, two touchdown. Goes 19 yards. Dante Hall sweep to the left. Got a great block at the corner at about the 15. Broke another tackle at the 10. Again at the 5 was hit. Stumbled somewhat at the 3 and got it in for a touchdown. First touchdown of the season then for the Aggies. Here's Kitchens, who has two field goals tonight, on to try the extra point. It's down, it's up, and it's on its way, and it's good. Aggies make it a 13-3, 10-point lead, 10-28 to go in the first half, leading Louisiana Tech. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by the Dallas area Napa Auto Parts Stores. This is the Texas Aggie Radio Network. <laughs> Here is Shane Leckler teeing it up. He's kicking now into about a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind. So we're going back the other way. High end under end cruise kick coming up. And on the run at the 15 yard line. I think that's Dig again. Nope, it's going to be Lewis. Lewis at the 15 carries back to the 20. And somebody got an arm tackle on him. Knocked him down. 
at the 20 yard line. Hall scored 18 touchdowns, rather eight touchdowns last season. That's his first, of course, here in the 99 campaign. Cangelosi goes in motion behind the line. They'll throw. Ball's batted up in the air. Gamble had a chance at it. Curry had a chance at it. It goes incomplete at the line of scrimmage. It was batted up. It was hanging up there for somebody to get to, but I don't think anybody really saw it. Well, and the Aggies are loading up with linebackers and DBs. They've got two defensive linemen in there. The rest are linebackers and defensive backs. Two wideouts uh, fake the inside handoff, roll here to the left, throw the ball. Cangelosi makes the catch, crosses the 25, and then slip down, trying to get away from Sammy Davis, who's out there again. Sammy Davis, the freshman from Humble. Third down and about three. Ball about the 26 and a half. Shotgun again. Three wide outs to the right. One to the left. Single setback. Rattay drops back inside the 20. Throws the ball. Caught by Simon. Wrestled to the ground at the 26. And they fumble the ball, but they say he was down. Brandon Jennings jumped on his back and pushed him into the grass at about the 27-yard line. Webster and Hall are back as the punt return men standing inside the Aggie 35, each on a hash mark. And here is Price with his third kick of the night. Going toward a hall. Makes the catch at the 35. Here's the return to the 40. Breaks through midfield 50. Down to the 40. 35, 30. Now they're closing in on him at the 25-yard line. He actually took that back to the 24. The line of scrimmage was the 27-yard line. Glenn Davis and Brian Bradford rode him to the turf there. Inside the 25 at about the 23. Great return by Dante Hall. Found the seam, and he goes 42 yards on the return. Of some 34 yards, Aggies have it now inside the 25. First down and 10. Two wideouts here on the right side. Here is Bernard of the single setback. Throw it this way to Taylor. Caught at the two-yard line and then goes into the end zone. Hit by one of the defensive backs. Pushed him into the zone. Goes 24 yards on a touchdown pass to Chris Taylor. Blackler holds. Here snaps here. The spot, the kick is up, and it is good. The Aggies now lead Tech 20-3 here in the at the 838 mark to go in the first half. Second quarter play. Ags up by 17, 20 to 3. Leckler kicks off. It'll be short again. Lewis is moving up from the 5 to the 10. They fake the reverse. Lewis now goes far right side. A little bit of a hole. 20, 25. Coming back this way. Hit at the hash mark far side. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Also out on the field will be Brooks. Here's Curry. Here's Sammy Davis. An extra defensive back. Shotgun. Drop back. Throw it. Far side. That ball is going to be caught across the 45. And three wideouts to the left, running back to the right of Rote. It's an inside handoff again. They try the middle. It's Bobby Raytel across the 50, goes to the 46-yard line. That was a first and 10. He Lots of speed to go against a very speedy receiving core. They again will throw a screen to the right side. Caught by Dag. Dag coming back this way. Caught the ball at the line of scrimmage. Moves it to this side and the hash mark brought down at the Aggie 42 and a half. Not enough for a first down. That's such a huge stat. Third down very short. Rattay trying to sneak for it on third down. And I think they're going to give it to him. Chad Franson, Ron Edwards, and Ron Flemons back in the lineup for the Aggies. Here's Raytel hit in the backfield. And now a flag goes down. He missed the tackle. The ball moves back to the 40. That was first down and 10 at the 41 and a half. Aggie territory for Louisiana Tech. A 50 and a 51. Snap the ball. Drop back across the 40. Throw far side. And a catch will be made by Cangelosi across the Aggie 30 down to around the 28-yard line. All by himself got away from Webster when he made a cut back to his right. First down and dash to the right. Loaded up. Three men on the left side. Drop back to the 35. Sets up. Throwing deep. Going in zone. And it is out of bounds. Single setback again will be Bobby Raytel. Short side of the formation now is to the right. And the split in over there is Dig. Three wide. Slot here on the left side. A handoff. Raytel hits the middle. And that's stopped after a yard. Get Tried the middle. It wasn't there. Got a yard. It'll be third down. We'll call it about nine. Had one start against Oklahoma State. Playing here on a third down and nine for Louisiana Tech. There's the snap. No running backs that time. Roll to his right under pressure. Throw the ball. And then it will be caught after about a three-yard game. Caught and drugged down to the 23-yard line by Brian Gamble and Cedric Curry. The pass was caught by John Simon. Two wideouts each side, short side to the right. Single setback is Raytel. 
Drop back to the 30. Set up. Throw right. Ball caught for a first down at the 15-yard line. And that will be caught by Devin Long. Long caught it. Jason Webster wrapped him up. They will advance the sticks to the 15. It'll be first and 10. Louisiana Tech at the Aggie yard line. The Aggies right now 20-3 lead with 5-14 to go in the first half. Ash right, single set back, two wide outs to the left. Dancing around, forced to step up in the pocket. Throw it, caught, touchdown! Near the end line, right under the shadow of the goalpost. Michael Jamison had it covered defensively. And we'll check him as they come off the field. That's going to be John Simon. Nope, make it Dag. Dag, number nine, not number eight. Dag makes the catch. This is Storrs again, who did not kick last week. He has the field goal earlier tonight. Snap spotted down. Kicks on its way, and he will be good on that one. So make it a 20-10 Aggie lead at the 5.06 mark. Hardeman will be in at the fullback position. Eric Bernard behind him. Play action. Throw it here in the flats to Cole. Tries to skip by a man. Does. It is open only for a second. Falls forward to the 30. Gets six on a pass. In the flats to the right side. Hardeman and Eric Bernard stay in as the running backs out of an eye. Push it back to Bernard. Trying to right side on a sweep. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. Has a first down across the 35. Goes to the 36. Two. Very hard hits, and he broke out of both of them. The third one finally brought him down. So Eric Bernard seeing some action. Well, they've got the ball now. At the, they've been spotted at the 30. There was a flag down, and the man who spotted the ball hold against the Aggies. So rub out the first down. Bumgardner split in right. Taylor is a flanker to the left. De La Torre again, the tight end. Action, throw it back, far right side. Caught by Taylor on the sideline. His momentum carried him out at the 20 yard line. Toombs and Hardeman out of a shotgun either side of McCowan. Third down and about five. Drop back to the 20. Step up. Throw the ball over the middle. Caught for a first down. Good yardage across the 40 to the 45 yard line. Leroy Hodge made that catch. Hodge finished last season with a touchdown reception against Kansas State and then one in the bowl game. Credited, however, for only one touchdown for the year since bowl games don't count. Play action, good protection, right side, drops back, steps up, throws deep over the middle. Caught, no, dropped out of the hands and a defensive pass interference here against Kerry Davis down around the 14-yard line. Goins over on the left side of the form, uh, the uh, formation. Here on the near side is Bethel Johnson. He's a split in. He'll set back. Long count McCowan. And he just handed off to Bernard. Left side. Go to hole. He has a first down across the 30 to the 25. Sweet to the left. Goins and Hodge here on the right side. Right side is De La Torre. Single set back. Short drop, now roll back to the right, force go back to the left. McCowan trying to get away from one man, he does. Now he throws the football. Sideline reception is made by Leroy Hodge, and he goes out of bounds. Where are they going to spot him out? About the About inside the, the 10 at the 9-yard yeah. line. First and goal at the Tech 9. Hash left, high formation, deep pitch, Bernard. Lock out in front of him, cuts it back to his right as they were sweeping left. Got it down to the 1-yard line. Here's Toombs. And Hardeman, split back formation, loaded up with three tight ends. It goes to Jamar Toombs from the one over the right side, stumbles into the end zone. Three touchdowns last season, his first here in the 99 campaign. The Aggies just put 26 points on the board at the 204 mark to go until halftime. Chance Pierce is the deep snapper. By the way, I asked for this number earlier, but Kyle Lednacki, 538 consecutive deep snaps. Without a miscue. Ball snapped. It's spotted down. The extra point is on the board. We're going to keep this one right here. We'll keep it right here. With the Aggies now making it a 27-10, 17-point lead with 2.04 to go here in the first half. Lewis here on the right side, and uh, that will be Simon over on the left side. Trying to get an angle. I think that's eight rather than nine. Here's the kick. It's a squibber. And it's being chased and now picked up at the 19-yard line, and that will be Simon. He gets it back to the 25, the 26-yard line. Snap it. 
drop back to the 20. Knocked down at the 20, 35-yard line, and I think that might have been... Uh, uh, Ronald Patton. Patton. Patton got a hand on it, leaped up, brought it down. The junior one ladder out of Houston, Langham Creek. Second and 10. He had eight tackles last year. He has played in every game for the Aggies in both 97 and 98. So he's had play in time, just had not got the numbers yet. Down and 10. Drop back to the 18. Throw the ball. Far sideline. Caught at the 32. Goes out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Emrete is under quarterback this time, under his center at the quarterback position, and hands off to Bobby Raytel. Smothered in the backfield. And the first man on him was... That'll be Pat. Ronald Pat jumped on his back, along with Brian Gamble, who's in there now, and started the ball game tonight. He'll take the snap, standing back at his own 20-yard line. Two return men. Near side is Webster. Far side is Hall. They're standing at the Aggie 30-yard line, each on a hash mark. And the kick is away. Wow. This is a sailor. Here's Hall going back, and he watches that one sail out of bounds. Passing yardage standing at 146 yards. Shotgun formation for Texas A&M. Here's McCowan. Dropping back a step or two, throws the ball to the far sideline, throws it incomplete. It snapped. Drop back, throw it out in the flats to Toombs at the 20, 25, at the 30. Trying to strip the ball from him as he goes across the 30 to the 32-yard line. Not enough for a first down, a yard shy. It'll be third down on the yard. Quincy Stewart made that stop. Shotgun again. Inside handoff goes to Hardeman. Cuts it back to the right side. Now tries the middle. As he gets across the 35, and they'll stop the clock at the 30, at the 19 second mark, and the ball at the 37 yard line. Cole split into the right. Single setback will be Menard. He got some speed on the left side, and Taylor and a Hodge. Here's the snap. He went under center. Back to the 30. Throws it over the middle. Caught by Menard at the 40 yard line. Stringing it out at the 50, 40. In tech territory. Goes out of bounds at the 41 yard line. Pushed out by Fred Lewis. Ten seconds to go until halftime. Aggies ahead 27 to 10. High formation behind McCowan. Play action, drops back, throwing far sideline. Has a man down there, caught at the 11-yard line, across the 11 to the 9. That was Bethel Johnson leaping up, got away from his man, Kerry Davis, came back to meet the ball. 26-yard effort, it's on its way, and he nailed it. And time has run out. And it's now 30 to 10. 30 to 10 at halftime. All right, here we go. Let's see how the second half goes. Hall here on the near side and Webster over on the far side of the return men. Earlier tonight, they have been, they've done the same thing here again. A high end under end at the 25 fair catch call for. That's the third time now that <laughs> well, Derek Broughton has called for the fair catch. Eye formation. That will be Hardeman followed by Dante Hall. McCowan's under center. That's the starting offensive line in the ball game. Up the middle they go. Nice hole. Five yards. Now about six yards the ball back this way still on the ground now it's have no idea where the ball is it's down on the turf and apparently Louisiana Tech or was it no it's a fumble and it came back no, he ruled it down for real oh, ruling, it, ruling down. it down at the 30 yard line and I think that's a good call he was down the, the ground cannot cause the fumble just across the 30 not the 31 second down they give him four so call it second down and six they need just outside their own 36 for a first down equidistant between the hash marks I formation split in right flanker to the left tight ends on the left side that's De La Torre and behind the line of scrimmage ball will be caught and then dropped at the 30 for about a half yard loss caught by Chris Cole Cole caught it wrapped up immediately on that play two wideouts left shotgun McCowan third down and about six and a half Take it, roll to the left. Good blocking. Still going to his left. Pumps once and runs into the sideline. Tripped as he hits into the Aggie bench. Cangelosi's the return man standing back at the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage is the Aggie 30. Takes the snap at the 15. First kick, fair catch, call for Cangelosi. Takes it at the 37-yard line. This is incomplete, intended for Jordan. Brings up second down, 10. 
Three wide outs to the left on a second and ten. The ball's at the 37-yard line. Little screen here to the right side to Rattel. They run him into the sideline and out of bounds at about the 40 and a half. Pushed out by Brian Gamble. Running back out of a shotgun to the right of Tim Rattel. Little screen over the middle. Ball caught and not enough for a first down across the 45 to the 46 and a half yard line. Rocky Bernard wrapped up the receiver. It's third, uh, make it fourth down and very short. Major didn't get it, fourth down and short. And Tim Rattay trying to get free, leaps four, and I think when he leaped with a man around his ankles, got the first down across the 47-yard line. Oh, it's still going to be very, very close. Let's see if see where they finally uh, spot the ball. Great effort by Rattay to stretch out with his arm, and, and they're going to have to measure again. That's how close it is. A few times we've seen that tonight. Play action, Rattay back to the 40. There's a flag down, throws the ball over the middle. And it goes incomplete down around the 20. And it was Jason Webster who gave a little push in the back of Delwyn Daig. We have two fouls on the play. We have illegal motions on the offense. We have an ineligible receiver illegally downfield on the offense. As the running back left to right. Throw it. Caught minimal gain about three yards across the 45. That was a quick throw there by... Rote, James Jordan caught it. Michael Jamison made the stop across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Cangelosi here in the slot on the left side, and then Jordan in the slot right with two split ends. Under pressure, throw it out in the flats. Bobby Rattel makes the catch, hit at the 49-yard line. They may get him close to the 50. Caught it in the backfield off to the right side, and then went to the far sideline where Jay Brooks and Jason Webster Made the stop for Texas A&M. Here's Rote on third down. Drops back, steps up, lofts one sideline. Caught Cangelosi on the sideline, and he went out of bounds and got the first down. Oh, that guy's he's very athletic. Yes, he is. And he brought it down for a first down at the 37-yard line. And 11 minutes to go in the third. They're moving the ball. They have it inside the Aggie 40. First down. Here's a middle screen caught here by Jordan. Hit at the 35, stumbles forward to the 33. Harold Robertson is the man that hit him and caused him to stumble and brought down at the 32-yard line. Single setback. There's the snap, throw right side, caught for the first down. Ball will be caught shy of the 25 at the 26 and a half by John Simon defensively, Jason Webster again. So first down, snap. Right side goes to Dag. Dag across the 20, inside the 15 to the 14. Threw it out in the flats on the right side. He had great blocking. He found the seam and advances the ball to the Aggie 14-yard line. And he'll pick up his offensive lineman right about the time he catches the ball. And well executed. Tight ends on the right side. Shallow pocket. The tight end will catch the ball at the 9. That will be Newman. Had a reception in the first half at the nine, brought down by Webster. Boy, Webster's been active tonight for Texas A&M's wrecking crew. Shotgun, loaded up left side and right side, no running back. Outside pressure, step up, throw the ball. He was hit, and it caused him to turn as he threw back here to the left side. He was hit by Royal Ann Bradley. Just got a piece of the jersey. No tight end in this formation. Only the five offensive linemen. There's the snap. Drop back to the 15. Step up. Throw incomplete into the end zone. The intended receiver was John Simon. Threw it in front of him. Going for it on fourth down. Need inside the five for a first down. Throws the ball. And it is caught for a touchdown. And that will be Day just across the goal line. Defended by Jason Webster. Great throw by Rattay. Really threaded the needle on that one. And on his knees, caught it a yard inside the end zone. Snapped, spotted down. It's on its way. And he what a great drive. 14 plays, 63 yards. There were three third down conversions and two fourth down conversions to keep the drive alive. As Dave told you, a nine yard pass to Dake for the touchdown, 30 to 17. Short kick again. At the 20, it's taken on a return by Taylor at the 30. Ran into one of his own men, ran into another man, ran into the back of Dante Hall at the 31-yard uh, line. So down at the 31, that time they got a return on that short kick. And it is a 30-17 Aggie lead in the third quarter, 8.56 to go. I formation. Aggies run the option going back to the left side, and it will be McCowan on the keeper across the 35 to about the 37-yard line. He just kept that one. They went short side of the formation. Desmond Nunnery, a senior out of Kenner, left to right holder 
Valletta McKinney, Hamuli, and Vincent. They're at the line of scrimmage on a second down and about five. Throw it out in the flip. Fires a whistle as they throw the ball to... They didn't get it off, Dave. Bethel Johnson. They're trying to slip him out here to the right side. Bethel fell over him, or he might have scored. So here's second down and ten after the penalty. Ball moved back to the 31. Ash to the left, split in to the left side. Short side of the formation. Drop back, throw the ball to the sideline. High over the head. This out at midfield on the far sideline, right in front of the Aggie bench near the 50-yard line. Rushing totals up. Have a slot here to the right side. In the slot, it's Taylor. Single setback. Had a flanker over on the left, put him in motion. That was Hodge. Drop back, throw the ball, and it will be Taylor in midfield. Broke a tackle. Try to spin away from another man. Won't do it down to the 40-yard line. Two tight ends, flanker way out to the left side. Eye formation behind McCowan. There's the snap, deep pitch, sweep to the right side. It will be Hall. Hits the 39, and that's all. It was Hardiman. Also had Roderick Rotten, the tight end on the right side out there for him. Quincy Stewart made that stop. Slot to the left, single set back. They've put uh, now Porter in motion. He had set up as a flanker right. Drops back, throws, deflected, knocked down. Nice hand on that by Otis Pitts. They were trying up a screen to the left side to Taylor and uh, Pitts got a hand on the ball and knocked it down. That was second and nine. It'll be third and nine. Bethel Johnson split into the left. Rotten is the tight end. Aggies go with a light eye. Hodge goes in motion to the open side. Back to the left. Snap it. Roll to the left. Throw the ball. Going sideline looking for Johnson. And it's over his head. Incomplete. Out of bounds and around the H. Threw it high over his head. And he was trying to run under it and look back over his shoulder and make the catch. And couldn't do it. Ashes to the right side. And what happened that time? They had the whistles. 25 second clock was actually showing 79 seconds on it. Got a touchdown. I guess he completed two passes. A little high. Controls it. Kicked it off to the left side, and it will go out of bounds. And I think he got one. It's going to be inside the uh, 20, but and they're coming up. And they stop it at the oh, they 19 saved and a half <laughs> yard line. It's, it's about one foot inside <laughs> the 20. Going to send Dag way out to the right side in the slot over there is Cam Gelosi. He's got three in the slot on the left side. Drive back, throw it back to the right side, caught by Dag. Pye tries to put a move on a Webster. And he steps out of bounds. How they gonna? He did not step out. They get across the 25. No first down. About the 27-yard line. And uh, Dag had seven catches in the ball game against FSU. They throw again, and the ball caught at the 30-yard line by Dag. They throw again to the right side, the short side of the formation, and they pick up a first down. Troy Edwards caught 11 last year for 67 or 68 yards. Snap it. Drop back under a lot of pressure. Caught across the 30 at the 33 yard line. That was a bullet thrown in the direction of and caught by James Jordan, a sophomore out of New Orleans. And he was wrapped up by Curry and by Cornelius Anthony. Ball at the 33. Shotgun again. Loaded up right side, open side. Out in the flats this way. It'll come to Simon. Breaks the tackle. Goes to the 40 to the 41 yard line. Caught it at the line of scrimmage. Between the near sideline and the hash mark. Got it up to the 41 yard line where Sammy Freshman out of Humble, and Sean Coriat made the tackle. Third quarter, it's a shotgun and a throw and into the bench high over the head of everybody. Rattay had to get rid of the ball in a hurry. It was Jay, Jay Brooks. Brooks was coming right down on top of him. Now, the Aggies defensively tonight have been very conservative on, on the blitzes, and they do that because they've got a good lead and because of the explosive offense, but they felt like they had to come with some pressure. Jay Brooks on the corner. Gerard Penwright's in the ball game. Now you're on the right side. They've thrown a screen after a fake to the right, back to the left side, and the ball is caught for a yard, maybe a, yeah, a yard and a half gain into the hands of Bobby Raytel. Faked right through a screen back here to the left side. Sammy Davis made the hit on Bobby Raytel. 6'3", 240, a freshman of Aldine Eisenhower. Put some rush on here from the right side. Here is Tim Rattay rolling way right, throwing deep over the head of everybody, incomplete down around the 25-yard line. All right, here is Price. This will be his fifth punt of the night. Line of scrimmage is the 41. Here's the kick. Coming back this way, and it will be Dante Hall watching it roll by him and will be killed. Down around the one-yard line. At the two will be the official. Up two-and-a-half-yard line. That ball hit near Hall, and then he had to back off of it. That'll be a 56-yard.
Price Hall is kind of one of those knuckleball types, and he really didn't have a chance to make the catch, and he just got back out of the way, which was the smart thing to do. Got their jumbo offense in there with Hardeman and Toombs. Toombs the fullback. Hardeman is the tailback. And off goes to Toombs. He's across the five. He's going to go to the six-yard line. Near the seven will go Jamar Toombs. High formation, two tied in. Broughton and De La Torre. And off goes to Hardeman across the ten. Not quite a first down as he stumbles forward. He it's gets out close. Be real close. He hit. They may give him the 13-yard line. They've been a Division 1A team for 11 years, and they are about three games above 500. First down and 10. The handoff will go to uh, Hardeman, and Hardeman gets the line of scrimmage. Now will be it. Tried the middle right behind McKinney and the two guards and Valletta and uh, Samisi Haimuli. And it'll bring up second down, still about 10 to go. Brandon Avance, a freshman redshirt out of uh, Mesquite. They went to Dallas Christian. About a yard on the last carry. Second down and nine. Clock shows 2.39 to go in the third. The Aggies lead 37-10. High formation behind McCowan. Again, it will be a handoff, and this is Hall across the 20 to the 22-yard line. Tried the middle and cut it off to the right side and carries to near the 22. Avance again on that stop for Louisiana Tech. Got three tight ends and an eye, and the handoff will go to Hardeman, and he bulls his way close for a first down, and I think they're going to give it to him across the 23-yard line. Hardeman on the carry. 271 total O in the ball game for Louisiana Tech. First down and 10 at their own 23, A&M with the ball. Out of the eye, the handoff will go to Hall. Bottled up as he hits the line of scrimmage, forces his way as they try the middle to the 25-yard line. Jerome King made the stop for Louisiana Tech. Seth McKinney, a freshman All-American. The center is out over the ball. Cow follows under center now. Takes the snap, play action, throws back to the center. The hands of Dante Hall caught the ball, stepped out of bounds. Actually, his momentum carried him out of bounds. 37-yard line. That's a gain of only about two yards on that pass to Dante. Here we go on a third down. And about seven will be needed. Ball at the 27. The Aggies need past the 33 for a first down. Shotgun for me. There's the snap. Drops back. Dances. Throws. Sandy. It is. Leroy Hodge was the intended receiver. And he just kind of slowed up as the ball sailed by in front. Lost sight of where the ball was. But out around the 40-yard line, it's an incomplete pass. Pelosi's deep. Leckler will take the snap, standing at his 12. Line of scrimmage is the Aggie 27. Louisiana Tech's coming from the outside. Kicks away. It's a sailor. Cangelosi calling for a fair catch, backing up, and takes it at the 25-yard line. That's a 48-yard kick. His best of the night. Only his third. 33-19 and 48. 19 seconds to go here in the third. And Louisiana Tech back with the ball. With the wind at their back for 19 more seconds. And the Aggies have a 13-point lead at 30-17. to 17. few times, maybe once or twice tonight, he's been under center. Here's an inside handoff and coming through. Gamble on the blitz, and he caught Bobby Raytel as soon as he gave the ball to Raytel. To, to, uh, Raytel inside the 20, back at the 18. Brian Gamble on a tackle for loss right there. Second down, and they say 17 on the scoreboard. They've got to get the uh, Tech 35. Rete looks to his right, now back to his left, and he will hit a screen. That'll go to Simon. He's across the 30. He's out to the 34-yard line. They got all but about a yard of that on that one play. Running back Retail to the left of uh, Rete, and they'll throw to Retail out of the uh, backfield, and he'll convert to a first down. He caught it in the backfield over on the far sideline, crossed the line of scrimmage, and carries to the 41. Two in the slot on the right, one in the slot on the left. No tight end, no running back. Here's Rete throwing again, and the ball is incomplete. Try to get that one to Daig, and Daig caught that behind the line at the 39. He was hit by Sean Coriat. He knocked the ball loose, and uh, Daig still setting down on the field. Second down and 10. At the Tech, 41, snapped, drops back, steps up, throws, and Cangelosi can't hang on at the 43-yard line. Right over the middle, almost between the hash marks, and Cangelosi was trying to do everything he could to bring that back in and couldn't do it. Here's third down and 10. Drops back, stands inside the 35, throws to the sideline, and uh, the ball was caught. They're going to say it was a reception on the sideline for a first down by Cangelosi at the Aggie 46-yard line. 30-17. to 17. 
First down and 10, operating in Aggie territory at the 46. Hash mark to the left. Throws, almost intercepted, off the fingertips of Jay Brooks. He was trying to get the ball to James Jordan. Second down and 10. There's a snap, drops back, caught this time at the 45, turns it across the 40, the 35, now inside the 30, the 28-yard line, caught by James Jordan. Over the middle, breaking right to left between the hash marks, ends up inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Jamison was there to make the stop, trying to put him in the slot over on the left side. Snap the ball, drop back. Here is a uh, flag. The ball has been caught by Cangel. See, they're going to give him credit to the 23-yard line. He was eventually pushed back and dropped down back around the 27-yard line. Line of scrimmage was the 28. There is a flag down at the line of scrimmage. Offside, defense. Here's a first down and five. They need the 18. Line of scrimmage, the 23. Snap. Under pressure, throws the ball, incomplete at the 10-yard line, leaving James Jordan, should have had it, couldn't hang on. He isolated himself, he was in between the linebackers and the secondary, went up, couldn't bring it down. Went over 9,000 in this game tonight, second down and five, and Bobby Raytel on a handoff, caught behind the line, dropped at the 26-yard line. Tried the left side, we were looking for a sweep, it wasn't there, Jason Glenn, from the defensive right side, crash through. Rote has thrown one interception tonight. That was on a deflection. Drops back under side pressure. Throws the ball incomplete in between two receivers at the 15. Dang was one man. Cangelosi's the other. He split between the two, each about five yards away from the ball. Webster and Jamison defensively. Fourth down. Made the 18. Drop back. Under pressure. Steps up. Throws incomplete. Hit as he was throwing the ball. Aggies have it, first down and 10 after the uh, Bulldogs fail to convert on fourth down. They hand off in the backfield to Hall, bottled up as he tries to take it wide right, caught behind the line and dropped at the 25-yard line. Derek Parker made the stop. All move back to the 25-yard line. Play action, and here is McCown. Oh, but they dropped the ball, and he fell on top of it. He stepped up in the pocket, dropped it, got back to the 22-yard line. We lost three yards on that from the 25. 22. And now they're saying that Louisiana Tech got the ball. Tech got it at the 22. McCowan did not get the ball back. Well, the here's, that's a plus 34. We're a minus one in this ball game. Here's the snap. They'll throw to the 15 yard line. Caught leaping forward to the 12. We'll go Delwyn Degg. Got about 11 on that one. Here's the snap. Throwing the ball to the 5. Caught at the five-yard line, Dag again, wrapped up there by the freshman Sammy Davis at the five-yard line. That'll be a pickup, about seven or so. It'll be second down and three. They can get a first down at the Aggie two-yard line. 10:31 to go in the game. The Aggies up, 30-17. They're at the line of scrimmage. Power formation this time. Bobby Ray Tell caught in the backfield, dragged down back at the seven by Jason Glenn. And two tight ends and an extra blocking back, a wing back lined up. They're down in five. They move it back to the seven yard line. Need the three. Steps up, forced out of the pocket, under pressure. Got a flag down in the end zone. Here's the throw, incomplete, caught and then dropped by Bobby Raytel on the sideline in the end zone. Holding on the defense. They come out again with that power formation. Handoff goes to Bobby Raytel. Hits the middle. Nothing going. Got the line of scrimmage. They bring him down. They have lost a half yard. That was Stephen Young who's in there right now. Made that stop for the defense. Again, the power formation. Play action. Roll to the right. Ratay throwing end zone through the hands of the intended receiver. Trying to get that to the fullback. Terry Pratt incomplete in the zone, moving to this near sideline. It's third and goal now, and the Aggies are trying to make a big goal line stand. They bring the, uh, all the receivers back in. Drop back outside the 10. Throw to the goal line, and at the one-yard line, the catch will be made. Is that Cangelosi again? Cangelosi at the one, caught it, and was knocked down right there. They break the huddle. They come out again with a power formation. Two tight ends, loaded backfield. Here's the handoff. It went to... 
Simon, he fumbled the ball. It goes back to the 11, but he was stopped at the one yard line. They rule him down about the one and a half, and the Aggies make a lot of noise here. Toombs and Hardiman are the running backs. And McCowan on a quarterback keep gets it out to about the three yard line. Somebody stripped the ball out of his hands and went into the end zone, but they had ruled him down after a yard pick up to the three. So McCowan kept. Got second down and nine at their own three. And off went to Toombs. Big hole bust out across the 10 to the 15 to the 20 to the 22 yard line. Had a man on his back. That was Michael John Leonard. And Toombs just gave the Aggies a little breathing room on a carry of 20 yards. All shy of the 22 yard line. About 19 on that one. First down and 10. Hash two, the right side. They're showing. Hand off and it's going to go to Hall. Hall's breaking it out this way. Wide to the left side. Stiff arms the man. Runs him into the sideline and out of bounds he goes at the 28-yard line. That was Fred Lewis again. Two tight ends. Broughton and De La Torre. High formation running behind Randy McCowan. Second down and about three or four. Hand off once more. We'll go to two. Spins away from one man. Another has a first down at the 35-yard line. Operating at their own 34-and-a-half-yard line, the Aggies playing against Louisiana Tech. First down and 10. High formation and two tight ends with a flanker right. Hand off will go. So that's going to be Hardeman again. Hardeman will carry for a short gain out to about the 22-yard line. Second down and eight. Line of scrimmage again will be about the Aggie 38-yard line. Play action, drops back to the 30, throws right, ball caught by Michael Delatore, the tie it in, he'll fight for the 40-yard line, got two yards to the 40. The Aggies must make it to their 45-yard line. Tie it in left, two flankers in this direction, shotgun for McCowan. Steps back, steps up, throws incomplete in front of and away from Chris Taylor in midfield. And now for the fourth time tonight, here is Leckler, takes the snap at the 25, little pressure there, almost got to the ball. Kick, fair catch called for by Cangelosi, takes it at the 19-yard line. Cangelosi at the 19. on the turnover has it at the Tech 22-yard line. First down and 10. Bethel Johnson goes in motion right side. They throw it to Johnson off his fingertips, chases it into the sideline, and I think that was a forward pass. That should yeah, be yeah, just they an, called incomplete it an incomplete pass. Yes. Second down and 10, operating in Tech tor uh, territory, Texas A&M's offense. I formation, split in right, flanker to the left side. And a delay out of the backfield goes to Hall. Hall across the 15, down to around the 12-yard line. Won't be enough for a first down. He'll need close to the 11. They're down about a yard and a half. Time remaining for 53. Ash to the left side. Power formation, A&M. Handoff goes to Toom. Spins, turns his back on his man. Backs to the 10-yard line. First down, A&M. First and goal, the Aggies. Just across the 10-yard line. Snap it, run the option. McCowan cuts it upfield at the five, spins away, trying to get away, fumbles the ball into the end zone. Recovered there by Louisiana Tech. Caught, was going down. Before he went down, he fumbled it into the end zone. And Tech recovered it right here on the sideline. Touchback brings it back to the 20 yard line. Shotgun, Retay moving a. He's got Simon in the backfield this time. That's not Retail. Loaded it up on both sides, under pressure, throws the ball. It is dropped out at the 35-yard line by Cangelosi. Sean Cangelosi had that in his hands, and then he dropped it. In the backfield now, they have John Simon. And not Bobby Retell. Moves him from the right side to the left side. Now pumps and throws, incomplete. His man stopped at the 30. Dig, it went incomplete at the 40. Third down and 10 on the yard line. We've got Dag and Cangelosi on this side. Over on the far side will be Devin Long. Also, they got James Jordan over there. Takes the snap, drops back to the 12, steps up, throws, caught. It won't be enough for a first down. Broke a tackle. Now he fights for the first down, but he's going to be short. Got it to the 26-yard line. He broke a tackle at the 25, got away. 
from Sammy Davis, or was it Cedric Curry? Got away from Curry, then Sammy Davis finally made the stop along with Brian Gamble. 30-17 to is our score. Texas A&M has the lead over Tech. Tech's got the ball. They will go for it on fourth down at their own 27-yard line. There's the snap. Good protection. Throws high. Intercepted by Webster. Took it away from Dag. Dag's trying to bring him down and does at the 50. Webster intercepted at the 45-yard line, and then Dag, the intended receiver, brought him down at the 49-yard line. Jennings and Webster. Here's first down and 10. The handoff will go to Hall. Hall hits over the right side. He will get about two yards and is stopped at the 45, got three yards to the 45-yard line. Feel comfortable about winning this ball game, but still some time. Slot to the left, tight end right. They snap the ball with a man in the neutral zone for Louisiana Tech. Offside, defense. Waiting for the snap, there it is. Hand it off, it goes to Toombs. He has the first down. He will go to the 35-yard line. He gets five yards. Aggies convert second down into a first down, down to the 35, 231 remaining. That's also a record. BYU in 96 had 33 completions. First down and 10, the Aggies at the 35-yard line. An eye formation, two tight ends, flanker way out into the left side. Give it to Hardeman. Nice hole, he has 10, he has 15. He's got 20 yards. 35, ends up down at the 15-yard line. They'll spot him shy of the 14-yard line. First down and 10, hash to the right side. Again, they've employed the two tight ends in the eye formation and a flanker, Taylor, out here to the left side. They hand off once more out of the backfield to the second man through. And I think that remains uh, going to be Tiki Hardeman. Tiki gets about three to the 12. Two men here on the left side, both lined up in the backfield. There's a tight end on this side of the formation. Single setback back, throw the ball, incomplete down around the three, trying to get that to Bethel Johnson. They will line up in the backfield, tight end left. Short drop, pumps, now goes to the end zone, and it is caught on the far side near the end line by Johnson. Pumped, and then he broke, leaped up, brought it down, Bethel Johnson. 12-yard pass. Here is the extra point by uh, Kitchens, and now we got some pushing and shoving going on right there in the uh, middle of all of that on the extra point. Some easy got into it with somebody. Extra points good. 47 seconds to go in the ball game. The Aggies 37 to 17 over Louisiana Tech. For a &M. Return. First down, I'm talking to the coaches in the booth next to us. 39 <laughs> seconds remaining in the ball game. And they've changed uh, quarterback. Stallworth comes in, throws incomplete off to the fingertips of the intended receiver at the 35. 37 to 17. Now 34 seconds. Stallworth played last week in the uh, Florida State game and uh, threw about three or four passes. Steps back, uh, throws, completes a pass to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. Got about 14 yards on that one. Brian Stallworth is a sophomore out of Baton Rouge. He was three of four against Florida State. First down and 10 at their own 41-yard line. Out of the shotgun, drops back, partial deflection. Cangelosi catches it. And then is slung to the ground by Jay Brooks. That'll be a first down with three seconds to go. That should be the last play. I don't see how Louisiana Tech could get another one off. There goes the clock being wound, and that'll be it. One, and they have run out of time. And the ball game is over. And the Aggies have won it 37 to 17. That's the final here. Got seven points in the second half, 30 in the first half, and a uh, performance, a record performance passing against AM by an opponent in both completions and attempts. 45 for 67, three interceptions tonight. Yardage won't be a record, they're even close to it. 357 yards throwing the ball tonight for Tech. But they rushed the ball for the uh, rushing yardage, 14 yards. They had 14 rushing yards. All right, the game's over. Keep the spirit alive. Aggies don't let Aggies drink and drive for a safe drive home called Carpool. Caring Aggies are protecting our lives. Call Carpool, 693-9905.
All right, coming up on our post game, a couple of scoreboard reports from Michael Barnes in Oklahoma City. We'll be talking to both uh, Jamie Grimes and Bill Johnson on the post game show. We'll have a play of the game. We'll go back and recap some of the highlights as well. So you stay with us. AM has won it tonight 37 to 17 over Louisiana Tech. This is the Texas Aggie Sports Network. I was really pleased that we were able to go on the road and, and uh, pick up a win. Uh, this team had had the benefit of playing a game last week at Florida State, and I've always felt like you improved more from the first game to the second than any other time of the year. And, uh, I, I, you know, they had a chance to work out some things and, with their personnel and with their game, and uh, this was our first time out. And uh, Overall, I was pleased. I thought our kick game looked solid. I was really pleased with the performance of Terrence Kitchens. I thought playing his first game of going out there, I, I thought he did a great job tonight kicking field goals. Uh, Chance Pierce, our deep snapper, uh, also uh, did an excellent job. He's a true freshman playing his first college game, and uh, I was uh, happy to see him perform under pressure. And overall, I thought it was a good performance. They threw the ball, I think, 67 times and ended up uh, – Getting 17 points was the total point production. So uh, it was a good start. It was a good win, a 20-point victory on the road. And uh, we're excited about being able to go back and have a couple weeks here to, to work for our next uh, game, which will be at Kyle Field. Aggie band steps off and spreads formation from sideline to sideline. The music is their famous fight song, the Texas Aggie War Hymn.
Parade. 